Yo. Yo, hold on, man. See if I can try to invite some people. Trying to invite some people right quick, man. See if I can talk a little some some a little shum shum. I ain't gonna be on here that long though. <clears throat> but just long enough. I'm trying to invite some people. I'll be inviting people, man, and you know what I'm saying. Niggas don't be watching this show. It's all good though. They ain't stopping nothing at all. I just be inviting anybody, man. I be inviting. You know what I'm saying? Can't never say I didn't invite nobody to nothing. Alright, man. <clears throat> okay. 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 Alright, let's see, man. Let's see what happens. All right, yeah, it's your boy, your boy, comedian J. Scott. I'm in San Antonio, Texas. I'm not even going to wait, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to try to go right in, man. Uh, so, you know, I put a little title to this, man. First, man, I hope everybody's having a nice little day today. I know the weather's been kind of crazy in different places of the country, especially in my home city, Indianapolis, Naptown. And, uh... Like the weather's been real bipolar, you know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, I hope everybody's trying to enjoy themselves and staying safe. You know, I titled this right here. Um, let's see, what about the uh, old boy from Empire? He uh, that got robbed. I don't even know his dude's name like that. I mean, I seen his name, but he's claiming to be the new, the the gay Tupac. Like, what the, f what the hell's going on, man? This dude said he was the gay Tupac. Like, and I and I get it, man. He might have grew up in that era, you know what I'm saying? He might have been around when Pac was walking around. But it's like, bro, you you did all that just so you can go perform somewhere and say you was the, the gay Tupac? Like, come on, man. Like, it'd be different if he said, like, you know what I'm saying, um, the, the gay, I don't know, somebody. Somebody who, <clears throat> even if they're not gay, like, you're not, the thing is, man, like, that was a very blasphemous statement. You understand what I'm saying? Because uh, Tupac, uh, Tupac was someone who, you know what I'm saying, Tupac was a revolutionary type dude. He came from a revolutionary family. He came from a revolutionary background. This person who we talking about right now is an actor, man, that is... Come on, man. Okay, they starting to, they starting to fuck with my shit. So let me dumb it down a little bit. So my thing is that, you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> Tupac... Okay, so they... Okay, maybe I can't say that name. But who he's trying to compare himself to uh, was someone who, you know, it was on. They were on another level. Like this person has not done that. You know, it's almost like he's trying to use that to try to, you know, create some type. Of, okay, I can't say that either. So it looks like that. You know what I mean? Like he, he's someone who. Uh, nah, it says, oh, so I can bring people on camera on here now. I guess that's probably been happening, but I, I'm i late. <clears throat> but you know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> what kind of just had me kind of out there with that? Okay, well, it looks like I'm going to have to move on. Because right now, they blocking me, B. They trying to turn my connection. So I'm just going to move on from that. And I'm not really going to speak on that no more. Let's see if I can. Okay. I get it. So... The next thing that uh let me see what else I put on there, man. I said that um about Liam Liam ne Neeson, the actor. Um the Liam Neeson. 
he's came out and uh this this dude gets on on television talking about how he had a friend of his who was raped and he wanted to get back all right so they they messing with my connection b they messing with my connection but no the story was that you know what i'm saying like he uh he supposedly or allegedly went out there in the streets looking for any black person to beat up on after finding out that his friend had got um raped and it wasn't like he said that he was going after someone who was a rapist or or going after someone who's a violator he was saying he was going to go after the first black person that he saw and he would be roaming in the streets hey he would be roaming in the streets looking for black people liam nielsen you are done liam neeson is that his name liam liam neeson you're done sir you're done no one's gonna come and watch your movies no one no one black and see that's the thing black people mess with liam ne neeson i'm gonna say liam they mess with him man they they i watch his movies taken one two three i mean man he he's been in a lot of movies you understand what i'm saying so he and i get it you know he's he's an older uh i think he's like british or something but you know he he was saying some strong statement man they really trying to they really <laughs> he was saying some strong statements man i'm gonna try to get through this man and i'm gonna have to probably go quick because they 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 definitely they definitely you know what i mean uh observe him keep saying try connection whatever so i'm just gonna keep going until they just just stop me you understand what i'm saying so uh you know um and then you had people coming to try to uh, stick up for Liam ne Neeson. I mean, you had black folks out here forgiving this dude. That's that's one thing black people we gonna have to really we gonna have to really try to do something about that, man. We we forgive. We forgive for anything. We forgive for anything. <laughs> they messing with my connection, B. I understand that you know what i mean I understand that but it's like man we got to stop forgiving man we got to stop forgiving like no one should be supporting this dude's projects i believe he has a movie getting ready to come out like like we had a we had a stage in a point of time when people start really talking greasy especially about black people when when, when they start saying things like what he said because like there's people out here that think that he's not racist like let's be honest man liam neeson he may be racist. He may not be racist. But I know he said some racist shit. Very racist shit. Not like calling nobody a nigger or none of that like that. He was talking about actually going out and committing some type of violence. And the thing is, no one's brought him in for this to be a hate crime. And I mean, can you talk about... Can, if, if a black person talks about... If he did, if a black person did the same thing he did, that person, I, look, he might have not physically done something, but if they was a black person, they going to try to do something to him. They going to find a reason. They going to find somebody to make that stick. You know, who knows if this dude even, he, who knows? He might have really, come here, come here. He might have done something. He might have done something to somebody that, you know, he just didn't confess to. But he tried to, you know, what he tried to do is he tried to use it as that's something that he uses when he tries to think of something angry in a movie, playing a role and showing some type of anger. That's something that he had thought about. And that's what he said in this interview. You know, he said that he wanted to basically kill the first black person he saw. He used that anger. He used that anger to, you know, do a scene in a movie. So that's what I'm saying. We have to be, we, we can't, and there's a lot of this stuff type happening out here. It's a lot of this stuff happening. It's happening to a lot of black people out here, man. We out here, we are, we are, we are targeted, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like for this man to even say something like that, like, and, and you ain't, I ain't heard no apology. Has he, has he apologized? Man? Has he even apologized to people? I mean, let me, let me wave back at, let me wave back at everybody. What up, though? Yo, what up?
He ain't apologize. I ain't seen no apology. I ain't heard no apology. He ain't apologizing. Yo, he's like 60 something. <laughs> boy, they, they keep trying. Boy, they, he's like a 60 something year old white man. He's like 65 or something. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to tell you as far as his movies. Yo. Man, they, they trying, man. So I'm not going to be on here that much longer, man. Because they, <clears throat> my connection is uh my connection is real janky right now man and, I, and i'm not you know it's it's a reason why but let me wave what up cuz though um so all right so yeah the liam neeson thing man like i nah it's a rap man like i'm not going to no more of his movies I'm not doing none of that i'm not watching no more of his movies <laughs> well they keep well they they doing it so okay so let me let me let me let me let me end it let me end it with uh all right, so the last thing I wanted to uh, kind of address is, uh, so in Virginia, in Virginia, in Virginia, Virginia, boy, I don't know what's going on in Virginia. I mean, Lord have mercy. I understand that's like the first place, one of the first places they drop slaves off at. I get it. But what's going on in Virginia, yo? You got, first you have the governor. You have the governor that, that, that you know they they surface a picture in his yearbook with him in the yearbook in blackface ah damn i hope y'all been able to hear me now i had the speaker on i hope y'all been able to hear me this whole time yeah if, if y'all weren't able to hear me somebody would say something <sighs> all right man i'm trying man they, they really they really trying to mess with a brother's connection all right but anyway so these this, this governor in virginia this dude then they didn't call his yearbook with him in blackface and i mean lord man come on yo we gotta we gotta really be serious on this blackface stuff man like it, it's, it's many of us that have not experienced any type of real racism but it's like man if you have experienced some type of real racism or someone threatening you because of the color of your skin or you know what i'm saying and you have been in situations where it's been about race you understand that blackface is something that you don't play with man blackface is something that you don't play with you know what i mean i'm glad that in this day and age you know what i'm saying there's people that are getting fired from from their jobs and stuff because of what they put on on social media but i'm gonna tell you man first so the first was the governor this dude comes out and says that he that, that he, it was him in the Facebook or in his um, yearbook book. And then he comes out the next day and says it wasn't him. So which one, which one is it, man? Which one is it? Either, either you, and this is the thing that like in, in this media, they gonna try to minimalize it because they're gonna say he was like young. Well, really he was 25 years old, which is a grown ass man. And on top of that, he was in, he was in, 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 in he was getting his, his doctorate he was in med school you understand what i'm saying and uh it's like you listen to him talk and you're like dude i know and then he ain't even apologize he ain't apologize he look man all right and then on top of that you, they they put out the, the surgeon general the surgeon general oh and and then hold on one, one other thing the uh um the government governor in uh virginia you know what i'm saying I guess later on he admitted to going to some type of party where he put blackface, but he went as Michael Jackson. Now this is my thing, yo, yo. You're going as Michael Jackson to a Halloween party, and you got to put on blackface. I I don't if, even if this was in the '80s, nigga. Michael Jackson wasn't dark enough for no goddamn blackface paint. Type, like no, nigga, you could have went as a white man, and and still would have been able to pull it off. Now you probably would have had the wig and the jacket, but you just had to have the jacket, and people gonna be like, oh, you're Michael Jackson. Now if you had the wig, yeah, but nigga, you were in blackface. See, that's the whole thing, man. Many of us, man, we ain't understanding how this racism thing works. You know, you got people out here talking about black people racist, which no, we're not, and that's a. That's a conversation for another time, but by definition, black people are not racist because it's about power. 
know what I'm saying? I can't stop no white person from getting no job. I can't stop no white person from getting no loan. But many of them can stop us from doing the shit. That's the system we live in. So he knew what he was doing the whole time. You think he he wasn't thinking about the future? He wasn't thinking about man. He's a he's a, he, he's a free man, a free Caucasian man, in his way of thinking. So he wasn't tripping and caring about no shit like that. Hey man, hold on, let me wave that to everybody else. Man, I got people checking me out. Man, appreciate that. And then uh, I saw a little bit later, the Surgeon General, the Surgeon General, <laughs> the Surgeon General admitted to being into some blackface shit too. Like, what the? Like, yo, 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 yo. That's my, that's my distress call right there is, yo, yo, are you kidding me? So now you got, and he's a Surgeon General, which means that he was in a medical field also you know what i'm saying like getting his doctorate how do we know that these people weren't even like around each other man i i don't think i, I refuse to believe that they weren't and that's the type of thing i'm talking about like we have to we got so many people out here talking about that they ain't woke and stay woke and stay sleep like nigga, you can stay sleep yo but this whole thing out here it's forcing people to wake your ass up. So even if you sleep, man, you, you may have to just, you may have to wake up a little bit. You know, sleepwalk, nigga, sleepwalk. There we go. Sleepwalk a little bit. You understand what I'm saying? You may have to sleepwalk out here. Because right now, man, the things that's happening on a daily basis with black people, man. I mean, yeah, yeah, they bringing up the, 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 they bringing up the, um, reparations term but you know that shit may not happen in my lifetime but yo if it's if it's kick-started in my lifetime then let it be let it be because that's how that's how i want that shit i want i want it to kick start up out here but all right yeah let me show you this all right come here show you this dude right here man I, this thing out here getting on my nerves, all the way on my nerves. But, uh, so yeah, man, like, yo, like, we, we got to do something out here, man. You know, shouts out to brothers like Tariq Nasheed. Um, so I don't even know these other dudes, but, I, um, I seen him, the Black Authority. I seen his page on YouTube. You know, these are people who we have to, we have to continue to listen to. And try to build upon that with, the, with our own movements, man. That's what's going to really do this, man, is this, having our own little movements. You know what I mean? So it's like, man, let's let's stop playing games out here. Get your money up. Get your bread up. And let's mobilize and let's build. Get this shit popping, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to, I'm about to go ahead and sign off for this ish right here. Because they done broke my connection a few times. I don't even know who's still really listening. If you like what you heard, though, man, hit the like button, man. Give me some likes out here or something. Man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, I'm one of these people who, you know, it's like I pay attention out here, man. If you ain't paying attention out here, if you ain't if you ain't incorporating some of the stuff that's happening, if you ain't incorporating it in your life, whether it be talking about it with someone or just observing, and then you a zombie, my nigga, and you can stay asleep, stay a slave trying to be a free slave you understand so uh yeah shout out to uh you know black history month man you know <clears throat> i'm watching a black movie every day b every day so you know what i'm saying build you know one more thing man like we got to get our kids right out here man our kids man we got to do something with these kids yo we got to, man, these kids, we, we are raising some young-ass punks out here, man. Especially these little boys, we're raising some soft, moist-ass, beta male-ass little kids. You know what I'm saying? And they, and they know the Warriors, and they killing the Warriors off, man. But we need to get that right. But, yo, do something for Black History Month, man. Do something with your kids. Learn something. Read to them. Show them some movies. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know what I mean? Y'all can hit me up, comedianjscott.com. 
or hit up my hashtag. If you're in the San Antonio area, I got two shows coming up. One coming up next weekend for Valentine's Day and one the March 29th. So come out, you know what I'm saying? Um, hit my hashtag, W-T-F-P-R-O-B-L-E-M-B. That'll bring up everything that I put up, you understand? So appreciate everybody that tuned in, man. I'm out. Y'all be cautious out here, man. And uh, let's get it popping. <laughs>